Welcome to this week's workshop Wednesday where we're going to talk about creating a funnel with Microsoft Clarity. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we are inside of Microsoft Clarity and we are here inside of the dashboard. And if we scroll down, we can see our different sections. We can actually move them around if we need to. But the section you're looking for in this instance is the section called funnels. And if we click on our little dots here, we can download them, but there's not anything to do to edit the funnels right here. We can switch whatever ones we're looking at, but we can create a funnel here or if you want to go to your settings, you can choose this option here. Either way, you're going to end up in the exact same spot. And so if we want to create a new one, we're just going to click here and simply choose what it is that we're looking to do. So if you have something called smart events, which we have another video out there for you on smart events, uh, if you have smart events that say when someone is maybe, uh, let's say you have e-com site, someone's adding to cart and goes to check out and then purchases, those are fantastic signals for you to be able to use with that. If you don't, which is totally okay too, you can go to they visit a page and then this is where you kind of adjust your logic. And so this is where you have to be very careful. So sometimes maybe like if you're using the home page or a, a, a root domain, maybe you do want to use it is exactly this. Um, and so it's telling kind of guiding us, hey, let's rename this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this home page and have that. Um, and then maybe I want to know, do they go to the home page and then go to one of our offer pages? And then that case, because I know what this one is, it's this one right here. And then I could say Academy offer page. And if I wanted to kind of like, oh yeah, what was this? I can go through and edit that, but I can also click on here and it pops up. And so I click on there and then I see exactly what it is. Now, one thing to note is you probably don't want everything to be exactly because you could see here, there's all these little parameters at the very end. And if you say exactly is you will probably be excluding or you will be excluding when those are happening. So you probably want to have contains. So what I'm going to do is start saying contains and then I'm going to start typing it in the URL that I know I want to have. And so it is going to be this one. So as you could see, there's a parameter, there's a parameter and a parameter. If you're not familiar with that term is basically when there's a question mark and stuff after it and a per and the parameters are separated by this ampersand sign. So we want it to include all of these in our logic. Obviously, maybe your logic might be you only want to include include very specific ones. So we're going to choose this one because that's the most easiest one. And then, so we're saying contains, and now we have to choose the add button. When we were choosing over here, we just had to hit the plus button and it was all good. So now we're going to go ahead and rename this one again to say Academy offer page. And we can just always double check our logic or like what we like to say is TBV trust, but verify. And so what we're saying is I want to know how many people are going from the home page to our offer page. And then we're going to say next and then say we're going to call this home page to main offer page because maybe there's more than one. And so we're going to go ahead and save. And now we have two different options here. We have our home page to main offer and then we have our toolbox that we've already created. Um, and if we want to just see how this one was created, like hmm, what was going on here, we can see the URL contains and it's this URL. And then the next page, as long as this is still the correct logic, it is this. It is that's the URL after they opt in. And again, you can always go through and have your smart event set up. And in fact, if you have an e comm site or if you have the smart events, um, we're basically uh, if, if you want to know more about that, like I said, there's a video and you can always come in here and you can learn more. Um, but it's basically Clarity's way of saying we recognize these are things that you probably want to be able to measure. And so we're going to go ahead and put them in there. Um, and then you can obviously set up your own events as well. Um, with that. So you can even go through there and, but so it's super, super, super useful to do that, um, with your user journey. Cause it's making building these things a lot easier too.
So let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard here. And so again, you can move these guys around. So you can, uh, normally the funnels is kind of somewhere in the middle, um, but because they're so useful, we want them up top. And uh, let's put them in the very beginning so everyone can see them. And so we have the toolbox here, and then we have main uh, homepage to the main offer. And what we're able to see is in this instance, in the last three days, what we're seeing is um, the conversion rate from this page to this page is 15.49. It is looking at sessions. So you could see 71 sessions and 11 of those reached to the, went from home page to the sales page. Um, and then, you know, how long did it take them to convert? Less than a minute, kind of interesting. Um, and here's that same number 11 there as well. So that is really easy, uh, nice to be able to see. Now, here's something really, really cool. Say, I want to know, well, why didn't they go to the th page that we were expecting them to go to? You can always click on either recordings to go ch check out that, to filter by the users that did not go to the Academy page from the home page, or you can go check out their heat maps. And this sometimes could guide you through. And so in this case, we want to see a heat map on the home page. Maybe there's like 20 steps in between um, and you might want to check out, but in this case, there's only one. And so we want to see what's happening on the home page. What are they doing instead? Um, looks like they're checking out the menu, which is this one that, and so they're logging in. That totally makes sense. And then we can go through and see and investigate why that might not be. So I want to head back to the dashboard and you can see I have these other filters up here. Um, so I want to go ahead and get rid of them um, so, so we can see everything that we want to. So now we're just back to this last three days. We're still looking at home page to main offer and we have that. And we can go now to toolbox, the one that we previously had done. And um, then you could again see the conversion rate for that, this uh, user journey. And the cool part about Clarity, if you didn't already know, is you can filter this out the wazoo. Um, so again, we have other videos on this, but just kind of give you a glance. Um, obviously you can adjust your time frame. Like I want to do the last 30 days instead. Um, and you can apply and it's going to go ahead and do that for you. You can say, I need to see a very particular day of the week. Maybe you have uh, certain newsletters that go out on Tuesdays and you want to see what happens on Tuesdays. You obviously can do it by device, browser and operating system. You can filter if you need to do a certain country and you can get pretty narrow on that as well. May or may not be as useful. Um, and then you can continue going on into user actions and you can hover on this to kind of find out what they mean. If you're not sure what rage clicks, that's kind of self-explanatory, but it basically means they're rapidly clicking in the same area. Dead clicks are clicking on something where it's not, not doing anything. Excessive scrolling where they're scrolling super fast. Quick backs is where they cl and click back really, really fast too. Like they see something, they bounce right back out. Um, and then same thing over here. And then this is where you have your smart events where again, if you have, you can, it might automatically grab some information where uh, purchase, sign up, download, log in, those type of things or you can go and create your own. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to build things or filter by things and stuff like that. And then, hey, we have our different funnels there. Um, you can keep going through and there are also goals that you're able to use. Um, that is uh, Google Analytics. And then you can keep going and you could say, I wanna know if they see a certain page. We've actually seen where the conversion rate was double when people saw an FAQ page, meaning that there was a question that the user saw on the FAQ page that it got answered to, and then they went and converted. And so guess what? We took that FAQ and put it on the actual sales page, which definitely improved the conversions overall as well, which is a fantastic find from Clarity. Then you have all of your uh, UTMs, your traffic, everything here to find out, you know, to be able to filter by those. And then again, keep going on and you have lots and lots of other different ways to filter. It's like insane how much you can filter here to be able to really truly understand what's going on with your, all of this, but also with your user journey here. And you can remember how we can click on this and we don't aren't able to edit there, but if we click here, we can choose create a funnel 
and we're back to where we were before. And so let's just kind of go back through again. So let's say we want to know when someone sees a particular page and then maybe let's say we want to know um, what they're doing afterwards. So remember we can click on it. We can go to contains because that's going to be more useful um, and we can click on this little piece. I want to grab, actually, I can just type that in because that's pretty simple. LP slash GTM. That's pretty easy. So we have this one. And then we're going to go ahead and add. And we're going to call this, this was our tag manager live offer page. And so we can mix it with this one. And I can switch over to the smart events. And then I could say plus. And then they made a purchase. Let's see what happens. And then we're going to tell, tell this tag manager live. And I want to press save and I can't see anything in here. So if I go into this, that's all I can go to. And then there's only option to delete. Um, but if I go back to my dashboard, now I can see the information. And so I'm not seeing anything. So is, does that mean it's broken? Possibly. Uh, we do see 29 sessions, but um, what could very likely be going to happen. So we can see we just filtered by that. We're going to get rid of it very likely, and I actually know this, is because the promo happened several weeks ago. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is expand this out. And we're going to I believe it was around here. Expand it out and see what happens here. And in this case, um, in this date range, we have, we're seeing five that see this in the, this particular page, which I think I need to expand my date range again, but that's okay. We're uh, just demonstrating how you're able to see um, how users go from one spot to the next and you use clarity. And you can have multiple, you, I'm just, for the simplicity of this, I'm just showing two steps, but you can have three, four, five, six, and you, you can go through and see um, each of the users that didn't go to this step, but d you know, did complete it. And you can definitely be able to get uh, nice insights and you could even go into the recording portion. And then once everything kind of loads up, you can always summarize the different recordings too, which makes it uh, a lot easier as well. So that is your Microsoft Clarity funnels and how easy it is to set those up and start taking action on those insights right away. What was your one thing? The one thing is the thing that you can take and start applying today or a, your golden nugget, as some people like to say. So let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We love to have you back. And that was Create a Funnel in Microsoft Clarity. We'll see you next time.